heart's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas I'm Serenity and this is my channel and welcome back to another day of greatness. If I'm not mistaken, it's day number five. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a balloon garland. Yes, before we get into it, I am wearing the same sweater as day four's video and that's basically because I've had to film this intro and yesterday's video three times because autofocus on my camera was not working. I didn't know it until I went to go edit both videos. So that's great. And I didn't feel like changing my sweater. So enjoy the sweater, it's from Target. All right, so today I am going to be teaching you how to make a balloon garden like, like I said, three different ways. I have made in my career of making balloons over the last year over a hundred balloon garlands. So I know what I'm talking about, I guarantee it. I'm not the best balloon garland person in the world, but I'm going to be teaching you everything I know in the basic manner. Later down the road, I might go into more in depth and techniques and things like that if you guys enjoy this video, but this is gonna get you started on your balloon journey. So I'm gonna be taking you through the three methods that I learned making balloons. I learned all by myself. I've learned that majority of the people who make balloon garlands like to gatekeep how to make them, who do it for a living. I know like two or three people on YouTube who will tell you everything they know and I'll be linking them down below because two of them are how I learned. But I really learned through trial and error. So let's get into it. Let's start with the supplies you will need. High quality balloons and we'll go over this right now. An electric balloon pump, a handheld balloon pump, balloon strip and curling ribbon optional depending on what method you choose. We're going to be learning three today. So high quality balloons, I'm lucky enough that here in El Paso I have a store and the Etsy shop will be linked below but basically high quality balloons include Balloonia, Quatex, uh, Tuffex, etc etc. Amazon balloons, mm -mm, they don't cut it. High quality balloons will not pop, are super strong and are worth it. You can learn using Amazon balloons but you need to pay the high premium price for quality balloons if you're doing big installs and anything worth it. Starting by counting off our balloons, I use a certain method where six balloons equal a foot and then of course I have my five inch balloons which are the little balloons that I'll be explaining later and you'll see what that means. So basically the first method is the one I learned with and that's where you tie each balloon off after blowing it off and then attach it to a balloon strip. My balloon strip ended up being empty, I got it from the dollar store but it's fine. And you tie each balloon strip in the hole that comes. Then you string it along. This is a very bad method in my opinion because the balloons fall out so easily. Method number two is the second method I learned and basically you blow two balloons up and you take the air out so they unpair and become more rounded because pear shaped balloons are gross. Then you cross the balloons like this and then twist them so now you have them twisted and to the opposite side where you did not twist them you tie them together. It's much easier on the hands and it's quicker. This is what we call a twin, and I'm just going to show you again real quick. You blow two balloons up, pull out the air so they're not pear-shaped, and then cross them, and twist and tie on the other side, and now you have your pear. Once you have all your pears blown up, we're going to attach it using some curling ribbon to make our garlands. For an 8-foot garland, I would use 20 sets of two, so 40 balloons in total. So I'm just going to tie a knot to that curling ribbon on the first balloon I want to start with and then give myself some curling ribbon to work with. Taking my second pair, I'm going to put it on top in the opposite direction and this is called the figure 8 method. Then drawing a figure 8 with my string, I'm looping around the top balloon and then under the balloon below it. I would do this twice and then you pull back up a little bit, but not too tight because then your balloons will pop. And then you just continue this method. Loop around one, loop around the one beneath it, all the way till you have your garland nice and long and once you hit the last of your balloons you're just going to do a couple more figure eights to keep it in check. Here's an example of what this method looks like that I've done before. Lastly method number three is my preferred method and I'm just showing you once again blowing up the quads, crossing them and then tying them on the other side. For this method I would use three different sizes, a medium, large and small amount of air. And then I'm just going to take two pairs of quads and twist them together like this to create a quad. Taking another pair and I'm just going to add it to the quad to make a six tuplet. 
and I'm just gonna throw it in there kind of tightly and then twist it together as you can see. That way all the balloons are interconnected by the balloon necks in the center as you can see here. And to show you this again because I know it's kind of confusing, I'm just taking more silver balloons this time, doing the same thing, emptying the air to make them rounder and twisting them together. Taking the next pair and then twisting them into my quad right here to make a six tablet. To assemble this method, you are just going to use the necks of your balloons. Reaching in to a six tuplet and finding the necks, you're just going to tie them together. I know it's hard to see, but these necks stretch and you just tie them together. Make and then I just continue this method until I'm done. Just keep in mind though that a set of six 11 inch balloons, which is what I'm using here, is usually a goal foot, so if you want an 8 foot balloon, you use 8 sets of 6. Simple as that. Now, you can use larger balloons, such as uh, 17 inches, which I use all the time, and use the same exact method. And then, we just continue that method until it's done. Here's me just time looping it. It's the same exact thing, tying the necks together. Now, I'm going to teach you how to make what I like to call my little babies. You're going to take your balloon pump, and on top of it, are these little nozzles that you screw on to your pump and they are for our little 5 inches. And you're going to do the exact same method I taught you earlier except we're making quads. So you're going to make two little balloons and I like to blow mine up no more than 3 inches, take out the air and then we twist them together like this. To attach them to the garland we have earlier you can use two sixes which are basically those balloon animal balloons that I showed you at the very beginning and you just tie a knot and then we'll just loop the extra string in your balloons. But I just like to use the neck method I taught you earlier to attach my babies. These just make your balloon garland look so much fuller. Here I am attaching them by the neck and my rule of thumb is for every single six tuplet I have one baby set. So you can see me attach them here. Again, reaching in, finding the neck, and then using the neck from the quad and attaching it like this. And then here is the completed garland on the table it was meant for. These are so pretty to make. And then here's all the little treats and everything. What did you think? Did you learn anything? I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. We still have a couple more days of Christmas to get through with a bunch of baking fails and attempts, cooking, crafts, and a bunch of other things to get through. We have a lot of fun things planned. There will be no blog post for this video because I don't really know how to explain it just yet on how to make a balloon garland in words and I would like to make better pictures so that's why there's no blog post. I feel like this is something you visually need to see to learn but I wanted to talk about balloons before we go a little bit more. The thing I wanted to say is balloons come in all shapes and sizes and how big you can buy them. Again, the balloons that I buy from the shop I buy will be linked down below, so you can go shop there directly. And if you're in the 915 area, go to this store in person. They have some of the greatest prices I've seen. So 11 inch balloons and five inch balloons are what you saw me using. 11 inch was for the base of the garland, and five inches were my little babies, as I call them, which are the accents. If you wanted to use larger balloons, which I definitely have in the past, such as 17 inch, 24 inch, 36 inch, they get huge. I don't know if 48 inches exist, they probably do. You would use the same exact technique I showed you. So you use like a 17 inch balloon and pair it with an 11 inch so you don't have just two big balloons. I know some people do it like that, where they'll use a 17 inch set, 24 inch set, and then an 11 inch set, and then make it into the six tuplet that I showed you. It's really however you choose. But I think if you start with those first two sizes, one, it's cheaper, and two, you learn better. And once you get a grasp on it, you can get, use the bigger size balloon. I definitely use 17 inches all the time. I used them last week and they're really easy to use. I don't inflate them all the way. Most of the time I only go up to like 15 inches but they do add more depth to your garland. So I also wanted to say if you want to start learning how to make balloon garlands but can't afford the balloons, totally understand. Below I'm going to link one balloon kit that I personally have used. Here's a picture of what my balloons look like using it, using the second method I taught you. Just to learn how to use them, but again, if you are doing a big event or event where you want the balloons to look good, you gotta spring for the heavy duty balloons. I'm telling you, these balloons, I have literally taken them, and I'll just use this bottle for example, and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, and they will not pop. I've had my nails done where they're like 
sharp nails and done it and they will not pop. These things are heavy, heavy duty. So that's just a little more advice. Later down the line, like I said, I might make more videos on how to use oil balloons and how to shape the balloons to make like rainbows and stuff. But for now, photo of the day of the doggies is this picture of Clover, my angel pie who wanted cuddles earlier and he actually made me take a nap because he wanted to be cuddled so bad. All right, I'll see you guys next time.